Hello out there all UCB radio enthusiasts. This is a short video adapting an LED Simometer uh, purchased from eBay uh, from China and uh, I am intending to mount it into my Tram D201. The 8 digit LED frequency counter module has uh, got the digits on the front and the circuit board on the back and uh, has two connections one for the power and one for the input circuit. As I use the tram with an external Siltronics VFO it's very difficult to exactly uh, know the frequency that you're using. It is supplied with two sets of uh, leads and uh, they're quite easily uh, plugged into the two individual sockets at the back which are keyed so they only go in one way just be uh, careful when you're actually uh, putting them in that they uh, that you don't try and force them in the wrong way around first off i wanted to check that the uh, frequency readout on the display was reasonably accurate with uh, my test equipment and uh, I've set the voltage at about 7.2 and uh, the frequency readout there is not relative to the display you'll see. The test probe that I've attached is actually from a signal generator and we're generating that signal into the device at the moment which seems very accurate. Accuracy seems very precise although I think there is a problem with the power um, when I just uh, pick it up and uh, I notice that it uh, cuts out and uh, fluctuates a bit um, so I'll have a look at a uh, the reason that this could be I know it's not the power supply so there must be some issue on the back of the board with the connectors and uh, on closer inspection it would seem that um, the little uh, wires that actually go into the little plug that plug into the socket are uh, one of the little uh, term spade terminals inside the connector itself was actually protruding out from the back so wouldn't have been pushing in making proper contact so I've just pushed it in to the socket to um, make proper contact and I'll try it again now it seems like uh, that that has solved the problem and uh, with a bit of movement and what have you now it's not uh, flicking on and off so um, we'll move on to the next phase which is the actual uh, inputting from the VFO the actual frequency that uh, we want to uh, work with and uh, set the VFO at uh, the base frequency of um, 27350 which is where the VFO starts. The frequency output from the VFO at uh, this point is 16.6783. So for the display to read correctly we need to add 10.6717 MHz to the IF offset to compensate. Once we add this we'll get the expected output of 27.350.0 the IF frequency is fairly simply uh, programmed in by means of two buttons and you select the actual IF setting by putting, clicking one of the buttons and then the other button you actually step through the actual segments in the display and then going to the other button you select the particular segment that you to read out the frequency that you want so at the moment there I've, I've put one in the first segment, uh, left the second one zero, six in the next one, seven in the next one and uh, I've just put in one at uh, the um, near the last and then the last uh, one is just being put in now so this will give us the correct offset to read out the actual frequency and there it is 273485 there's a little bit of uh, noise in that on there so it's not exactly right but it is actually correct so with that fairly easy programming uh, sequence we can now see that the frequency reads correctly uh, with a bit of photo trickery I've got it around the right way so you can see it properly but uh, it's now 
20, uh, now I'm uh, just tuning the VFO. So it uh, has changed um, as you saw it there. And uh, I'm just sort of testing it by just moving the VFO around a bit. So uh, that's pretty much it. It's uh, just a matter of uh, installing it in the radio. Here you can see it mounted temporarily in place uh, above the replacement uh, speaker to make it uh, speaker to fit. Uh, with the 110 to 12 volt uh, AC um, transformer and the bridge rectifier on a uh, large heatsink which is probably not needed for the uh, small amount of current that this will uh, draw but I always like to over engineer everything and uh, that's the complete insides of the radio and uh, here's a close up of the actual unit in place just temporarily and soon be fixed in place uh, permanently Thank you.